Yo, what's up guys, it's Premier here, welcome back to my channel, hopefully you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day, and today we are playing one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. So yeah, today we're playing some Black Ops 2 Modded Edition, sorry about not uploading for like the past couple of days, I know it's been kind of weird, the last video that I did make was that one where I was talking about my OBS chronicles and shit, just complaining about OBS and stuff. Okay, so there's this guy on the enemy team, his name is Jiggy, I, I, I don't know if it's just like some random ass name that people have in this game or some shit like that, if it's just like the whole little modding community that's out there and shit. Yesterday? this fucker followed me. If I were to leave a game, he would follow me into a new game. But yeah, yesterday I did record a video for you guys playing Black Ops 2. I was having actually a decent time. I actually hit my first clip in a really long time on this game. I was just having a really good time. I was just having fun as shit. It, it was something that, I don't know, I was really looking forward to playing. I know this game is modded. I know it's trash because it is just modded all the time and stuff like that. Baby spawn for me. Come on, let me hit a quad feed. Why? Why? So yeah, other than every single lobby being extremely modded in Black Ops 2, uh, yesterday it was a very, very interesting as a day, alright? Yesterday was a very weird as day, it was very interesting, you know, I was just, uh, cruising around the coast, not really, I was just cruising around some farms and shit, cause that's all around here, driving around listening to some good ass Katy Perry, you know, firework and shit like that, just having a great ass time, you know, just really feeling the vibes and stuff like that, and, uh, that, I noticed a car was kind of swerving over into my lane, now we're going like 60 miles an hour, I noticed this car a little bit in front of me, you know, kind of swerving off into my lane, you know, like he was on some real codex lean type shit. Like this dude was swerving so hard, you could have mistaken him for being on lean. Like this guy was leaning so hard to the right that I thought I was gonna die. I'm not saying that I'm a great driver or anything like that. I'm not saying I'm the greatest driver in the world or anything, but you know, I like to pride myself on my driving skills. I like to drive quite a lot. With the fact of driving a lot, you're gonna see a lot of dumbass drivers and people that don't know what the fuck to do or how to drive. On this road that I was on, there's not a whole lot of room to move over to the right. Like if I went over anymore, I would go completely in the fucking ditch. This dude was so close to me that if I had my window rolled down and I put my fucking finger just on the lip of my window, I'd be able to almost poke his face like I was listening to Lady Gaga type shit. So this guy that looked like a prima donna type bitch boy that's been living in LA his entire life with the goldie locks of fucking God, do you know how hard it is to take someone out of a good ass moment when they're just listening to some Katy Perry, listening to Firework, listening to some good ass shit? Honestly, I've never felt so much terror in my life. Like, I've seen a lot of car accidents in my time. I've seen people, you know, get in car accidents. I've seen people crash. I've been in a few car accidents and stuff. I saw a flash of light and my life flashed before my eyes. And not a lot of shit scares me other than, you know, like spiders, arachnids, fucking snakes, the unknown, the darkness, the Loch Ness Monster, uh, gorillas, Bigfoot. The dude was so close to me that I could smell his cologne. His fucking Axe chocolate cologne, dude. I could smell it. Now, obviously, you know, you can't call someone a douchebag and judge them by their shit-ass driving skills. I'm texting and sending, like, fucking paragraph tweets or wearing chocolate Axe cologne anymore, but, I mean, fuck, man. Learn how to drive. Stop wearing Axe cologne. Stop sending fucking paragraph tweets and shit like that, and maybe you won't die in a car accident or end up eventually hurting somebody else because you're being stupid as fuck. Now, I understand, you know, some people are on their phones and shit while they're driving. I get that. That's not a good habit to get into. I understand that people will text while they drive or send snapchats while they drive or tweet while they drive or change their music and shit while they drive. I can't say I'm perfect because I do that shit too. Well, I don't really tweet or text or anything like that, but I do switch my music quite frequently when I'm driving. The best advice that I could give you guys when you're driving, if you're sending a tweet or a text or just doing something that you normally shouldn't be doing when you're fucking driving, like taking fucking selfies and shit and making sure you have the correct fucking filter on, pull over. There's no reason to threaten other people's lives. Like this dude could have killed me and there would be no more premiere here, all right? And that got me thinking to achieve my goals, to achieve my dreams, and you know what, I'm doing it right now. This thing right here, YouTube, is the only thing that I've ever really wanted to do with my life, and I love to do it. I love making videos, I just genuinely just love to make videos and try to entertain you guys and hopefully make you laugh on a lot of my videos and shit, because I'm just an idiot. Live every day to your fullest, to your fullest, not the fullest, to your fullest. Do what makes you happy. So yeah, that's, that's that. That guy scared me so fucking bad that I started to think about my whole entire life and my existence on this earth. Do what you want to do. Make yourself as happy as you can. Unless it's like selling drugs to kids. Less drugs, more hugs, guys. I've said this in past videos. More drugs. Wait. No. Less drugs, more hugs. More drugs, less hugs. If I would have said that shit. Fucking moron. Honestly, though, Carrier is one of the best maps of Call of Duty history, man. I'm, I, I really hope that this map somehow goes into Black Ops 4 because... This map is honestly like a trick shutter's wet dream. Everybody loves this map. So far, knock on wood, no one has been modding my games or anything like that. No one's been following me around like that jiggy fucker. It, it, nothing has been going on like that.
If only, if only I could just fucking shoot correctly and stop being a complete fucking moron, man. I don't understand why everything I have to ever hit in my entire life, it has to be fucking rolling, split, fucking completely off. So yeah, today will be the first double upload that I have on my channel. It'll be kind of weird. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. I'm starting a new series, like a walkthrough series. I know this has been done a thousand times before. I know tons and thousands of people have done this shit. This is a game that I've never played. I've seen people play like half of it or parts of it and stuff, but it's been a while since I've seen people play it and shit like that. I, I think I've played it for maybe 10 minutes and then I just stopped playing the game. And um, the game that I'm talking about is Outlast. This is going to be the first time that I've ever played Outlast or anything like that, so I'm really excited. So as soon as this video is uploading, I'll be playing Outlast, making a video on that. It, I, I don't know how long the episodes are going to be or how long the videos and stuff are going to be on it. I'm really excited, but I'm fucking terrified at the same time. I've never played a horror game in my entire life. Like, the entire existence of Premiere, I've never played one fucking horror game. Honestly, I love this lobby. I'm really happy that I'm even in this lobby. I don't like it when people leave this lobby either because it just gives other people that mod and shit like that hackers and stuff to give them an opportunity to get into this lobby no one's cheating no one's hacking no one's doing shit this game is really fun when you can go back into good lobbies with people that aren't cheating and shit like that and you can just kick it and relax but when the motherfuckers that cheat do come and i'm not talking sexually come they come with a barrage of fucking mods and aimbot bullshit and just all this crazy shit that just wants to make you fucking die so yeah i know this video was probably random and weird and shit like that probably didn't make a whole lot of sense because you know that's just the style around here nothing fucking makes sense so but uh yeah thanks for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it and uh yeah hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day guys and as always thank you for watching peace peace